Today we're going to have a look at single image edits without the use of Photoshop. Nine times out of ten when you watch one of my videos, it, my workflow is Photoshop, Luminar, Photoshop. In today's quick video, I'm going to show you a single image edit, which means editing the raw file in Luminar from start to finish without using Photoshop whatsoever. Let's dive right in. Okay, here I am in the single image edits and here is the photograph that I am going to edit to show you here. So I'm going to jump into the main panel. I've got the info selected just to let you see the photo. It was shot on the 13th of October 2019 at 11.03am. 51.9 meg shot with a Nikon D850, ISO 64, f16, 20th of a second at 22mm. Now I'm going to get into the edit and we're going to start with light. I'm going to push the temperature slightly because it's an autumnal scene. I'm going to also lift the smart contrast. Not too much, but just to let you see how everything works and how quickly it can all work and all come together. The sky enhancer. As you can see, nothing much going on in the sky, but I'm going to push it to around 81. AI accent. And you see the magic beginning to happen now. Next thing. AI structure and we can push this as far as we want for this image and that actually looks okay there I would like a, a little bit more in the sky but I'll go back and get that I'll just balance the image first details enhancer remember these affect the entire image if you want them localized you will have to get into the mask and edit them Adjust them and then edit them via the mask. So I'm going to push the small details, which will affect the entire image. The medium details, take that back, just too much. The medium details around there, large details here, because I'm also looking at the reflections in here and reflections in the water. Quite happy with that. Landscape enhancer. I'm going to dehaze. If I dehaze here, it dehazes the entire image. Mainly, I'm doing it for the sky. So if I push the dehaze, and so far I am quite happy with that. Colors, I'm going to push the orange saturation slightly. Just to there, it's an autumnal scene. And I'm going to lift the yellows, the saturation of them. Yep, quite happy with that. The next thing, I don't know if you've noticed, but this here is drawing my eye. I know it's a natural part of the image, but this keeps drawing my eye in. Plus, the usual lens spots. So how I'm going to get rid of them before doing any more to this image is by going in to the canvas and then within the canvas panel we have erase and I'm going to use the erase to do this so what I'm going to do is click erase and now that the eraser window has opened the brush is set at 20 I have a few spots here I'm just going to click them the ones that I can see I saw one down here as well one over here. If I miss any for this video, I do apologise. One up there. And I'm just going to paint over that. Just that area there, because that keeps drawing my eye. And it looks like so far I can't see any, but some may appear after I do the next process. Once I've done that, hit return or click done. And that's us back now. What I'm going to do is a couple more edits and then the image is complete. If I go back into my layers, you'll notice that Luminar has created an erase image layer, which I can turn on and off. I also can delete the layer if I want or blend it, depending on what I'm going to do here. So I'm just going to leave it there. I am now going to bring in some more AI to the sky. 
because I'm on the erased image layer, if I just click here in the light tools and go into AI Enhance and push that slightly, you'll see the image change again. Then push the Sky Enhancer to around there. Yep, I'm quite happy with that. And although in most of my edits I say I don't like the blues, for this scene they are going to work. Next thing, AI Structure. This is just going to be very, very slight. And that's me. I'm quite happy with that. So I'll show you the before and after. So this is the image we brought in. As you can see, quite a flat sky. Not so much contrast within the image, although the image is quite dark. There's not so much contrast in it. But after a few minutes of editing, we have this. So you can see the power that the tools and that Luminar 4 has when editing your image. As I said, my regular workflow is Photoshop, Luminar, Photoshop. So I thought for this instance, I would show you a single image edit using Luminar 4 on its own. And you can see the difference that it's made in a relatively short time. So hopefully you get something from that and you can see that it can be used as a standalone image editor. If you've enjoyed this video, big thumbs up. If you're currently not a subscriber but think you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, please think about subscribing. And thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.